Gentlemen, welcome back to the T. Shanley starting a business, building a brand vlog. This one, big number, 227. So the date is March 18th. Just so you know and have a perspective on the date that I'm filming this because we're not going to be releasing this video until the normally scheduled vlog day, which is Sunday. And so I just wanted to give you context as to everything I'm about to tell you, everything that we're kind of doing as a company, it is fluid. And so, you know, tomorrow it might change, but this is what's going on right now. Anyway, I wanted to take this opportunity in this vlog to really talk a little bit about you know, the situation that we are dealing with as a company. Now, as you know, you know, the whole world is dealing with this. And as a business owner, this is something that you don't necessarily, you know, foresee yourself, you know, having to deal with. I got to be honest. I never in a million years thought that I'd be coming on here or talking about like pandemic and, and what do I do? Worst case scenario. And how am I going to pay my staff and make sure that everybody's okay and, and all that. So I never, I never planned for that. Um, I also, you know, personally have never prepared for a situation like this. Now, certain things that I've done for myself personally, I have prepared in terms of, of, of if bad crap happens, like I'm okay type of thing. But from a corporate perspective, from a business perspective, never thought about it to be completely honest. I don't think any of us have. And unfortunately, it's something that we're having to deal with. But the people that just bury their head in the sand and don't deal with it and just think, oh, let's just see what happens. Those people are in trouble. You know, even the people that are taking action, extreme action in, in some cases, are in trouble. And I think about when I sit here and I talk about, you know, the, the, the struggles that we are having from a corporate perspective and a company perspective at Tiege Hanley, you know, it pales in comparison to all of the unfortunate people that you know, are, are dealing with the fact that they're, they're servers or they're, you're, they're hourly, are hourly workers and, you know, their business isn't, you know, is, is completely like shut down. Like, so, you know, putting things in perspective, I just want you to know that that is not lost on me at all. I think every single day, like, my God, like, what are some of you guys facing and dealing with? And, and how do you, how do you, you know, keep an optimistic mindset when, you know, it's really hard. And so um, please don't think that, you know, me talking and telling you a little bit about T. Shanley and, and what we're doing and, and how we're handling things is, is not, we're not aware of the fact that there are bigger things and bigger issues out there from a, from a personal, you know, hum, humanitarian, you know, point of view. And so just understand that that's not lost. So you can save the comments about, you're such a dick, like people aren't eating, like, and all that good stuff. Like, I get it, right? Things are tough. Things are challenging. So now what I would like to do for the first part of this vlog is actually read from the Teach Hanley website. If you go to teach.com, up at the top, you're going to see a news tab. That is where you can find up-to-date information about the situation and what's happening with our company and, and your amazing skincare products. All right. So the first bullet point is you should know, and I'm just going to read this straight so I don't screw things up. You should know T. Shanley products are completely and entirely manufactured and packaged in the USA. The for formulas inside the bottles and the bottles themselves do not leave the country until they are purchased by and shipped to an international customer. Bullet point number two, the bottles are filled in the USA in a, in a USA FDA approved facility and must undergo intense microbial testing prior to being released to us. So when the lab like makes stuff and fills everything, there's like a bunch of like tests that go on before they're actually shipped to us. We cannot, could not, and would not sell any uh, product that does not pass the strict regulations. And this is not just something that, that we're doing now. This is something that we've always done. So just understand that. The third bullet point is we have many, many months worth of FDA approved inventory in our Chicago based warehouse. So we got a lot of stock, a lot of inventory. That warehouse is disinfected daily, but that is not something new to teach or to the situation. We have always disinfected our warehouse daily. Um, but that being said, we have stepped up our efforts in the current situation. Um, regardless of the pandemic, blah, 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 uh, we'll continue to disinfect daily every day as long as Teach Hanley continues to manufacture and sell men's skincare products. So moving forward. In arrears, we've always disinfected our facility daily, but it will be intensified um, moving forward, honestly. Additionally, the entire T. Shanley team, from the warehouse staff 
to the very founders themselves, that means me as well, are exercising extreme caution to ensure we stay healthy. All non-essential on-site personnel have been instructed to work from home until further notice. All essential on-site personnel are being required to check in daily with the head of operations regarding their health. In the event an employee shows symptoms of any type of illness, they will be asked to self-quarantine in accordance to federal policy. And last but certainly not least, the last thing we have to say about this situation is, all this to say, T. Shanley is 100, not 99, not 99.7, 100% dedicated to the commitment to the safe development and handling of our products. We take extreme pride in our work and are going above and beyond the FDA requirements and government policies. Our singular goal is to help men look and feel amazing, and we'll continue to strive for that, uh, that goal throughout these trying times. Uh, and that is from founder Kelly Thornton. And uh, he echoes my sentiments and Rob's sentiments as well. Uh, but it's real. This situation is, is the reality that we are facing as a company. We have seen a slowdown in terms of new acquisitions. We have also cut back our ad spending a bit. Uh, because I think every company right now is kind of just trying to like, like brace themselves. It's like everybody is falling, right? The stock market, everything. Everybody is just like trying to figure out like, whoa, what's going to happen? There is so much uncertainty with everything that it's like, okay, hold on. Like we need to sort of get our bearing, get our, get our grounding. Um, the one thing that, that we are doing is we are continuing to ship T. Shanley products. Like that is not stopping as long as you know, we are not like mandatory, like quarantine, like you can't even like go into the facility. You've got to stay home. Um, as long as our, our shipping partners are still shipping products, we are going to continue to put out the T. Shanley products to, to you guys. And one of the reasons why I think that this is important to note and important to sort of be aware of is, you know, I know for me, I'll just speak for me personally. This situation and what's going on and having to like work from home and not being able to go and like sit down at restaurants and things of that nature, in this situation and environment, it is ultra critical for me anyway, for me to maintain as normal of a routine as possible. And that includes like, you know, getting up and, and coming instead of Starbucks, I come to my office and work for a few hours and then I go exercise. Now, I can't go to the gym, but I'm you know, using my treadmill at home or I'm going for a run outside. I'm exercising. Same time frame, I'm getting up at the same time, and then I shower, I put on my products, I leave the house, come to my office. Even though I'm not like coming in contact with people, I am applying my cologne, I'm getting all gussed up, planning my outfits. I wanna look good. It's about routine. Yesterday, I actually cut my own hair because that's one of the other things. I'm like, you know what? <laughs> I haven't cut my own hair in a few years, but I'm not going to, to the barber. I need to stay polished. I need to stay looking good because it's a mental thing, right? When you kind of let yourself go or let everything sort of go crazy, it, it affects you. It affects your psyche. It affects, it affects your mindset. And I really truly feel like the people that are going to handle this situation and get through it the best are the people that have a strong survivor mindset. Now, you can sit home and you can freak out and you can be all like, woe is me, and I get it, right? Because the temptation is there. It's scary. This shit is scary. It's scary not, see, and that's the whole thing. I'm not scared of contracting the coronavirus. Now, I'm not saying that I wanna get it. I'm not saying that I'm not taking every measurable step that I possibly can in order to not get it. But if I get it, I am confident that my body is healthy. I'm confident that I will be able to, to fight it off and, and deal with it. Um, and I know that there are a lot of people out there that are not in that situation. But part of this is the mindset, right? It is so critical to stay optimistic, to stay focused, to not freak out and go crazy and just all start like melting down, but to deal with it. You know, this situation will pass. That is one thing that I am 100% confident about. The other thing I'm confident about is that we as a society, we as a community are so crazy amazing when we come together and handle you know, our business. Um, and, and it's really, it's just, it's remarkable. I, I believe in humanity. I, am, I believe in our resilience. And I believe that if we stick together, we can do and beat and accomplish anything. Does this situation suck? Huge, unmanscaped, hairy, nuts? The answer is 
Yes, but I'd like to speak a little bit from the business owner and entrepreneurial perspective. Um, and this is something, like I said, you might not have a business now, but this is, oh my God, like you wanna talk about a learning experience? You know, I never, like I said, I never thought that I'd be having to deal with this, um, but I am. And so many business owners are, 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 are being hurt right now because people aren't buying or they're not even able to be open, right? Can you imagine being like a restaurant right now? Like that would be horrible. Um, you gotta be shut down. And, and I guess one of the lessons is, how prepared are you? Do you have enough resources available or stashed back, like back here for when the shit hits the fan? Because the shit, it's currently hitting the fan. And the people that have prepared and not overspent and not over leveraged themselves personally and professionally, they're the ones that are in a much stronger position to ride this wave out and to ride it out. Like we don't know how long this is going to happen or this is going to be the situation. We don't know the magnitude at which it can go bad or it could you know, turn around tomorrow. I don't think that is going to happen. I don't think best case scenario is ever a good place to sort of look, but I also don't necessarily think worst case scenario is, 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 is great. Now, is this pretty close to worst case scenario? I don't know, you know? As long as you have your health, I think that's, you know, that's, that's the number one most important thing. But you gotta be smart. You've gotta have cash in the bank. You know, one of the, one of the questions that we at TH Hanley, um, Kelly and Rob and myself, we talked about at the last quarterly meeting is, okay, we made a profit last year. How much of that profit do we as owners distribute to ourselves? Like, hey, let's take some money off the table. Let's, you know, let's, let's, uh, let's reward ourselves. How much of that profit do you take? How much are you comfortable leaving in the business and thinking, okay, a rainy day happens or there's a situation that we need cash, how much are we, are we putting there or setting aside because of, a sit well, we didn't know a situation like this, but you know, something happens. And luckily for us, we are all pretty seasoned in terms of our business acumen and we are not you know, foolish and think, oh, let's just take it all, you know, all out because we know that, oh, we're just going to, you know, we're going to get more and it's going to you know, continue to rain and everything is great and everything is amazing. And so you take, your, take all your, of the money out of the business. I think a lot of businesses do that. I think a lot of businesses think that it's going to last forever. And this is a situation and scenario where, guess what? It isn't. And so you just have to be smart. You've got a plan. Do not over leverage yourself. Do not buy things that you don't need. Um, one of the upsides to the situation back with the gym and my filing bankruptcy and driving a beer cart and being in a lot of debt is that for me, like you guys probably have heard me say before, debt scares the crap out of me. And so little things that I've done for me, you know, what I do with, with some extra money when I, when I make it is, is I pay down my debt. And so, you know, that includes like my house, that includes like, you know, my office, that includes, you know, any, any other assets that I have in that, you know, space in terms of real estate. But I don't want to be in a situation where I'm like, oh crap, I've got all these, you know, mortgages and all this debt or all this business debt that I've got to now like figure out what to do. And so one of the, like I said, upsides to me being, you know, really, really broke and being over leveraged is that I never wanted to do it again. And so I have never overspent. And so that doesn't mean that I'm not now in a position where I'm like, okay, crap, right? Okay, what happens now? Like just speak for Pete and Pedro. Like I think about, all right, if sales go to zero, I've got people that depend on me and rely on me. I need to be in a position that I can support these people or help these people financially for an extended period of time. And so fortunately for me, I didn't go out and overspend. You know, I'm, I'm in a fairly you know, good position in terms of weathering the storm, but that, 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 that ability to weather, it's got a limit, right? Of course. And then at some point you've got to be like, all right, survival of the fittest, I got to fend for myself. But for right now, you know, I, I'm in a good position. Tish Hanley is in a good position, but we just have to be smart and you need to be so disciplined. And um, this is going to shake people up. You know, there were certain life events and times that I feel like we changed as a society. You know, for me, 9-11, that was one of those like moments where it was like an inflection point where things are different as a result of that, that crisis. 
And I feel like everybody sort of lived a little bit differently as a result of that. You know, my grandparents, they went through the depression where, you know, everything was really bad. And so they never forgot that. And so they are always like, a lot of them are in this like prepper mindset and, and because they remember, you wonder why your grandmother, you know, won't throw out like a half used like jar of like old cottage cheese, right? She's thinking, she's like, I don't know if I might not have this. It scars you. And this situation I feel is going to scar us. I feel like this is going to cause us to continue to be more aware of cleanliness. So anyway, guys, that's where I think I'm going to wrap things up. I just wanted to come on and sort of give you a Tiege Hanley corporate update on what's happening. If you guys have any questions, you can always go to Tiege.com, hit the news tab. That is where you're going to find, you know, the latest information about us as a company and what's going on. And, um, you know, if you have any questions, our customer service, you know, everybody's still working, everybody's still rocking and rolling, uh, but they're just doing it at home. Um, only critical people that need to be coming into the, the, the warehouse are coming in. Everybody else is at home, like staying safe and staying, you know, diligent about keeping themselves healthy and, and their loved ones healthy. And so I just wanted to let you know that um, regardless of how crappy the situation it's going to get better. It's going to suck for a little while. I wish I didn't have to talk about this stuff. I wish I didn't have to deal with this, but we all do, right? And as a business owner, you might have to deal with something like this as well. Um, you know, I, I, I think about, you know, our friend who's the martial arts instructor, you know, what happens then? Are people still going to class? I don't know, you know? And so I just think about all of you out there that, um, are really, you know, having to deal with some, some hard situations. Um, but just know this, that it will pass. And I love you. T. Shanley loves you. And we're, we're, we're here for you as much as we can. If only in moral support and doing these vlogs. I'm going to continue to do these vlogs. Um, you know, things are, are going to continue as much as business as usual as possible. But things might have to change or be tweaked a little bit. But just know this. You are amazing. We love you more than our double monk strap shoes. We will get through this and you're gonna be okay, all right? Just let's stay together, let's stay positive. Next week, I hope to be a lot more energetic, chipper and cheerful and let you know some incredibly good news. Guys, if you've got a business question, down in the comments, start it with business question, ask it, and next week, I promise to get to some of your business questions. This week, everything has kind of been all like corona-y, and uh, this vlog obviously is no different, but you are amazing. Do not forget it, gentlemen. And remember, we always love you more than our double monk strap shoes. Take care of yourself, guys, and take care of other people. Be safe.